My name's Jeb, and I've got a little problem. The first thing I do when I have a problem like this is think about how I could have prevented it. The most obvious step you can take is just keeping insects out of the garden with screens and doors. Also limiting the number of guests that access the plants. In this instance, though, I think the visitor that brought in the pest was a plant. I fell under the spell of this cilantro and let it go to flower and even seed. But it spent Christmas break in the window next to some other house plants, and I think they hitched a ride in the dead foliage. Inspecting plants for issues regularly is another important step. This grow light puts out light that is unappealing to the human eye. So I turn it off. Deep water culture tomato, you look so much better now. Turn the power off before you do regular cleaning of your environment. Gotta get that algae under control too. This was caused by adding nutrients while the water was still in contact with the rock wall. I was planning on taking clones from this sickly basil. But instead, it's probably moving on to the next stage of life. It's always important to make a positive identification of a pest so you know how to handle it best. The trick is catching a little bug without smashing it. Having a 30 times jeweler's loop really makes you look like a pro. This one even comes with a light. This small one looks like a nymph. Let's see if we can find an adult. Someone's been laying eggs in my rock wall. And there she is. It almost makes me sad, but then I'm filled with rage.
Well, I think it's thrips, which are very treatable. But since these seedlings are only two weeks old and they've already been damaged, I know exactly what to do. Are you laughing at me? Shame on you. There's no hope for this basil either. But I'll try to keep the tomato. Thanks for watching.